Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, September 25th, 2019. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Again, you'll notice here that price broke to the downside in the previous session here in the ES. Price broke down below the 29.80 key level. Uh, we had a very narrow 10 day range that had developed here, and with the downside break, it was an, a bearish outside day down. We talked about that fair, that failed new high in the pre-market report yesterday and how that could suggest more weakness. That failed high led to an outside day to the downside, a bearish outside day. And this type of break here suggests more weakness could be ahead if price cannot get back above 2980 and reestablish acceptance. So right now you can see right here that's 2980. The previous session's midpoint is 29. 87s and that's going to be a zone right there to watch between 2980 and 2985 basically any any move into that area could uh, uh, allow for a move is actually 85 right here uh, 87 is the 8 period so 85 between 80 and 85 if price gets into that zone and starts to fail again retesting prior support from below could be an uh, a high probability opportunity for bears to defend and push this thing back toward 2920. Again, if we break back below 2940, there's the potential to drop all the way down to recent support 2820. So this is going to be very important. Can price uh, get back above 2980 or do we see rejection of prices back at that zone? Because that could provide a very, very high probability selling opportunity. Very similar to what we saw last time around here where we sold off the retest here and then it dropped. So we'll see how this plays out here. Keep an eye on 29.80. Right now the high of the day is 29.79 and any failure up at that zone above could provide another selling opportunity down below. So we'll see if this thing can get back above 29.80 here. If we take a look at the NQ, 7800 is the level to watch here. We got a downside break in the previous session. Here's the outside day, so price had pushed above 7,900, failed above that level, and broke to the downside here at 7,800. It was a 200 point day there in terms of range as it got as low as 7,700 from that 7,900. Uh, it broke down below the, the narrow 10 day range here, and now we're gonna see if we can get about 400 handles of range. Now what we talked about before is if it breaks below 7800 and can't get back above that zone, that could provide an opportunity down towards 7400, between 74 and 7500. Now if this thing breaks down and by the end of the day uh, where we close above the open, we're back at or beyond 7800, that could provide a very strong pivot low for a continuation higher. And that is the same case for the ES as well. So if this turns out to be a strong low today, then perhaps we may see more strength here as this thing has been very bullish. But again, the key level to watch, 7800. If price were to push up to that zone and cannot get back above it, that could provide another selling opportunity for a move lower. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. Right here, crude oil, again, what we talked about before is this may be a very strong pivot high. We've moved higher from August into September, and now we're starting to see weakness come into play. We know about the seasonal tendency of Q4 being bearish, which can begin this week. We've already seen weakness come into play. Uh, breaking back below 57 half, 57 quarter is opening the door to a gap fill at 55 so 55 may be the next level down we're about a dollar 30 off of that zone we have a clear downtrending market here so far in the morning uh, in a 512 tick chart the VWAP sloping downward as price continues to trend lower so again any bounces could be a selling opportunity for a continuation to the downside until we at least fill the gap below at 55 lastly taking a look at gold futures this one uh, broke above that 15 20 level that we talked about and has continued higher higher highs higher lows day over day this thing has been a very nice steady mover it hasn't really exploded to the upside but it still remains quite bullish it remains within this uptrending channel here where this market has been bouncing off the lows 
and we're now starting to make our move higher within that channel so again the key level to continue to watch here 1515 1520 it's basically the FOMC key level here's 151580 that's that level there it went offered initially then it went bid and it's pushing higher off that level even if we were to retest it it could still be a buying opportunity for a continuation higher 1490 is the key level there to break if this thing were to fail and go lower so 1490 continues to hold this market appears to be headed higher especially if price can retest and reestablish that acceptance above 1515 for good all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care